we're speaking to Alphonse Muzan. Alphonse, uh, tell us uh, what you've been up to lately and uh, and how we would find you on the Internet and so on like that. Well, you can find me at uh, tenaciousrecords.com, T-E-N-A-C-I-O-U-S records.com, or just go to Google and just Google me. <laughs> okay. Alphonse Muzan, homepage. Okay. But what I've been up to lately is, um, I don't know if you know the actor Chaz Palmateri. Sure, of course. Chaz and myself and Robert Darby, who wrote and directed this movie called The Dukes, where three are playing doo-wop singers, the two Italian guy and me. Okay. And I'm scoring the music as well. That'll be out sometime next year. So um, if we were to recommend something from Tenacious Records for our listeners, what would you recommend, sir? I would recommend Biles Me with Herbie Hancock. Okay. That's the classic, you know, the bio meme. Okay. And um, I have some fusion stuff with me and Coriel that I'm working on. So you're working and, with Larry Coriel again? Yeah, Larry Coriel. We played together uh, two months ago. Okay. Larry Coriel and Victor Bailey from Weather Report. Right, right. He did a he did an album recently with Weather Report. Right, right. And he he did the uh, the album recently with Lenny with Lenny White with. Right, with I Victor replaced Bailey. Lenny because Lenny was busy, and I went to uh, Washington D.C. and performed with those guys. Well, cool, great. That's great. It's great to hear but you playing. I've play. been um, trying to keep busy. I've just been writing music. And thinking about Tommy Bowling, mm -hmm. never left my mind. I wonder what Tommy would have been doing these days. Absolutely. The Mind Transplant record, you know, you play it on a station. Right. It's tell tell us about how you heard about Tommy Bowling originally, please. I first heard about Tommy from the Billy Cobham Spectrum when I heard that guitar. I said, well, i got to have that guy. Yeah. You know, So I got him, and I he came to L.A. I put him at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, you know, and just gave him carte with Blanc, you know, say, go room service or whatever. <laughs> Tommy had a ball. I know that there, that was a I, I'd seen him prior, too, me and Coriel, because it was 1970, me and Coriel, it must be 1974, we saw him in Boulder, mm -hmm. and we sat in. Too bad I didn't have a video tape of that. No me kidding. Coriel <laughs> sat in with his band. With Energy. That was the name yeah. of the band, right? Yeah. 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 So was this an existing band? Were the rest of the band was your band, or was it just folks that you'd put together in the studio for this album? Oh, I put together the, the people in the studio. Leave it now. You know, right, right. A session player, number one, Jay Drayton, mm -hmm. you know, session guitar player. You know, we, worked, we wrote a lot of stuff for... Right, did, um, did all the Al Jarreau uh, albums. Yeah. You know, Al Jarreau. Yeah. And then I got Tommy, and I Tommy didn't read music, but he was a great rock player and a soulful feel and blues. So I had those guys read the chart. Tommy could read, pick it up, and I had him supply what it needed, you know, the, the, the human element of mm -hmm. stuff. And he just played around it and just took it to another realm.